Welcome to the BDSM Dungeon Play channel and um, my other channel is Whoops in the Dungeon. I'm Dex and as you know the excitement never ends around here. Today we've got a real special treat for our toy review playlist. We're going to be reviewing some toys from Waterhole Leather. And Waterhole Leather has been around quite a while. The proprietor, Buck, uh, is very much into pony play. And if you know anything about human pony play, all the tack is custom made. And so I don't have any tack to show you because literally if you were interested in pony play, you would write Buck or call him up and make an appointment to go to his leather shop. And he would take measurements and talk to you about the, the type and style of tack that you wanted. And then he would make the tack and you would come back for a fitting he would make adjustments. It's literally all custom stuff. So let me um, show you some of what he has given me to do the review on. Uh, that's his business card. I'll have all the information in the link below. And this is just a real nice suede collar that he's made uh, with a, a metal heart. And in the back it buckles and it has adjustment. Um, he does collars. I mean, most leather workers do collars and cuffs, of course. This is a little different style collar. It's got three D-rings, uh, a locking roller buckle in the back. I love locking roller buckles because you can put a, a small padlock through them. And the padlock, of course, in the lifestyle signifies uh, ownership. Um, he has done... For, for me, he does a lot of custom work. So the knife sheaves I'm gonna show you are all custom work. Uh, it, for those of you that have followed my channel, you know I, I like knife play uh, and I own a lot of knives. And for whatever reason, it seems like the modern knife manufacturer sells their knife in a web sheath. And for the people that love leather, uh, the first thing you wanna do with that web sheath is throw it away and uh, so I, I take the knife to Buck and I drop it off and he made me this nice little sheath for it uh, for an old timer knife and he put, you know, he tooled some shells or scales on it and painted it green. Uh, his trademark, I don't, you, I don't know if you can see that, his trademark is this horse stamp. So that should be on all of his work. And again, the same way with this knife, he tooled a real nice sheath for me. I've got two Bowie style knives that he did for me. This one in turquoise, the knife came from Albuquerque up in the Santa Fe area. And he did a, a knife sheath where he, he tooled a mermaid, hand tooled a mermaid and then the matching mermaid is on this one. This is a simply K bar. They're both about the same size knives, but he custom did those sheets at a very reasonable rate. I'm not gonna quote a price to you on the video because if you're interested in a knife sheath or even a, uh, if you're into pistols and, and, and gun uh, guns, he does, he does pistol sh uh, holsters as well. So he sent me, or he, he gave me three floggers to review. This one is purple and black suede. Mixed in with the purple tails, there's some black suede tails. Uh, about 18 inches long, I counted the tails. It, it, he gave me two suede floggers to review. Uh, this one, the red one, has slant cut tips and the purple one has pointed or diamond point tips. Uh, I counted the tails in both these floggers. I, I forget which one was which. One had 45, the other one had 50 tails in it. It looks like for his floggers, suede floggers, he's trying to run between 45 and 50 tails. Both a very nice weight. And if you thrown or play with a suede flogger. A suede flogger has a little more bite to it maybe than a top grain flogger would. Uh, but, but real nice weight, real nice handle. Uh, the handle on these is, is pretty close to being balanced. 
uh, depending on which way I hold my finger, I got a perfect balance there. So that one is balanced. Uh, the red one, I forget, I was playing around with these earlier. The red one is a little bit tail heavy. Maybe it's the one that has the 50 tails in it as opposed to the 45. So it's a little bit tail heavy, but it, it's very close to being balanced. The other flogger he gave me is really unique. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this. I've seen uh, floggers that have done where they had the twisted leather in the tail, but he took two tails, uh, twisted or plaited them together. And then the other thing that's unique about his, this particular flogger that's designed by him is he glued the tails together and they're stitched. So that double tail being plaited, glued and stitched is never gonna come apart. And the result is this, this is twice as heavy uh, flogger as one of the other suede ones. So it's gonna be very thuddy, very stingy. Okay. And I honestly love this flogger. Um, $150, wow. $150 for all that leather. Now the, the, the other suede floggers are 110. That's still a very good price point for that many tails and that length of flogger. Uh, again, they're all about 18 inches long. But as, as with any honest review, the counterpart of this flogger is because these are double thick tails, the very tail heavy flogger is my recommendation for Buck would be, or if you're gonna contact Buck, uh, you could talk to him about this. This wood handle would be very easy to drill, but it's tail heavy, it's not balanced. So if he drilled this handle and put some lead in it to provide a counterweight, then this would be, um, it wouldn't wear your arm out quite as quickly. Okay, but very nice work. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the paddles he's done, and I've got to go quickly because we're running out of, out of time, so I'm going to throw, show you three at once here. This small paddle, the, the, the characteristic of it is the handle's actually bigger than the paddle itself. The result is going to be, that's really stingy, really stingy, but nice pocket pack paddle. You can stick that in your pocket, pull it out, use it in the dungeon real easy. That little paddle looks like a spoon. It's called a spoon paddle. And again, it's the same concept. Smaller, it, smaller's gonna be stingier. If you look at this, it's very unique work, very detailed work. Uh, this was just natural leather before he worked with it. And this black border around the stitching, it's two heavy pieces of leather sewn together. This black border had to be hand dyed. So you've got brown in the middle and a hand dyed black border around it. This mini rug beater is um, cord leather on a handle and is with all of his work. He's got his stamp there so that you know it was water hole leather. That's evil. Moodstone said no way. Now he's got two leather paddles. This is more shaped like a strap, but what is unique about this, most straps are two pieces of leather sewn together. This is three heavy pieces of leather sewn together. Not too many leather crafters have a sewing machine that can sew through three pieces of leather that's that thick. Buck has one of those. That, that is a really nice, uh, leather paddle and this one he calls uh, a belt strap simply because it's a piece of leather that's been folded over sewn back into the handle uh, and as always his stuff is quality stitch it's not going to come out and this is actually the favorite out of this whole lot that's the one right there that I would consider adding to my toy bag. After 20 years of, of being in, in the lifestyle and in the scene, I got a lot of toys and so I'm at this point pretty particular. When I buy a piece, it's gotta be a piece that I haven't had and a piece that I like that I would use. And um, 
that one I definitely would use. So I'm going to have a conversation with Buck when I take these back to his shop tomorrow. As always, uh, the description or the link will be down in the description. Um, I'm not going to quote prices on all this stuff because prices change so much in today's current fluctuating environment. Uh, but contact Buck if you're interested in any of this or look on his website and some of the other stuff he makes. And don't forget if you're into pony play, Buck is the guy to do custom human pony tack. As always, thanks for watching BDSM Dungeon Play.